What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey folks, I'm back in the building and I'm giving you more about this MGTOW thing. And now, you know, for me, myself, it should be, I'm practicing, this is what I'm practicing. Well, if you look at it, I've been practicing it for a minute. But in about two, about three, no, four, three, two, one. Right about now, I would say, yeah, here it goes. It goes this isn't the official logo, but it's just... One of the many logos of MGTOW, where wrote, it's men going their own way. What it is, is it's men just being men again. And if you, we, we, others and I in, in my circle, we've been taught this since we were little. So we've been practicing this for a minute. Now, as far as women goes, if you can find your perfect mate, then I'm all for it and I'm happy for you. But that is not the case nowadays. Due to the government and due to this, due to this feminist thing going around, women think they can make it on their own, and I'm and I'm proud when you hey, go for it if you think you can. But in any relationship, you should know it takes two. And if you have, if you know, if you have, if it's just you doing all the work, and your partner's nothing but you know off herself, you shouldn't be in that relationship, young man. You should not be in a relationship with some. Selfish chick. You shouldn't be in a relationship with a chick that has if she if, if she has her her kid's father on child support. You do not want to be in a relationship with that chick because she violates her own principles. She'll tell you she can do anything a man can, and you know she's doing stuff on her own. But yet, how are you, if you if you're doing it on your own, how are you going downtown and going to the government? And begging your government daddy for some money. You're not doing it on your own. And technically, I'm doing it for you because I'm a taxpayer. I'm the one who you, you, you beg to borrow and plead, you know, when your kids need infamil, which you're not even doing. Most of you buying some, some hair and some other BS. You're buying food for your lazy boyfriend who isn't working. I mean, I don't know how nowadays some of you guys can put up with some of these women and some of the stupid stuff they say and do. I mean, look at it. A lot of them just want to fight, argue, and a lot of them, a lot of them will say this: they can't find a good man. But when you dig inside their their background, they got five kids to the five different dudes. Now, who wants to do? Who and what guy in the right mind wants to deal with this? I mean, I don't. I'm not trying to deal with five other dudes. Then I got to hear you ain't with daddy. This and I'm like, look, man, keep it moving. You know, are there women that are good looking to have five kids? Yeah, there's women that are good looking to have five kids. But there's more women that are good looking to have no kids that are better. And that's the point I'm trying to make. You got to make your life easier. Because these women nowadays are trying to make your life harder. They're not trying to work with you. And then and, and, and look, ladies, by no means am I besmirching all you ladies. This should only, look, if, if, if this hits a chord, it's because it's, it's just what you're doing. A lot of you ladies are doing some dumb shit. I'm sorry. You know, I don't, I don't advise a kid to be, you know, and you want to call yourselves queens, this, that, and the fifth. But how are you a queen whenever you're going to the government for money, i.e. the taxpayers, i.e. myself, and you got a, you got a so-called king who's a bum who plays PlayStation all day. You know, it's just, it's just that's why if you're a, a young man or you're a middle age, this is the way to go. You know, go your own way. Do your own thing. Don't don't let some woman drag you down. And even if you have, and even if you are going through a situation where she's being a bitch, you can still do go your own way. Take care of your responsibilities. Try your damnedest to do to, to do everything you can. You know, to, 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 to rectify all situations that way. You're not the bad guy, and then just just do you. You know, because a lot of these women are mad because we're doing us. Like I could care less what another woman does to. You know, for herself, I, I don't care. 
You know, a lot of them, a lot of them try to get mad. They'll try to sleep with five million guys to make you mad. That doesn't make you mad. You know why? <laughs> why would it? <laughs> I mean, seriously, you got rid of them for a reason. Think about it. If chicks want to sleep with other dudes and make you mad. Well, I slept with so and so. Like we ain't together. You can sleep with you can sleep with Satan for all I care. And number two, it ain't my business who you sleep with. And number three, I don't care who you sleep with. Do you? I'm not the one on Facebook looking like a whore and with the friend of the kid. You are. So it's a good laugh on my part. So go for it. I mean, but also, what what do you want to do? What do you want to argue with these chicks for? And if she takes you to court, you know you're going to argue on every little thing. From visitation to how much you're going to pay to how, what you're going to do for the child. And like I said, and most likely your child support checks is going to go for some other dude who's living there asking to buy a hoagie off of her EBT card. You know, and then they got all these chicks here talking about, well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't uh, have to, have, my, my EBT card shouldn't be regulated. Yeah, it should be, because let me tell you something. A lot of these chicks want to buy your, your little girl's hair, and, and let me, that's, not, that's not really necessary going to school for a fucking third grader. How about you bitches quit being lazy and do some hair once in a while? Just because you're going bald at age 32 don't mean you should force your little child to go bald at age 3. The fact of the matter is, is a lot of these women are just lazy. If you look at them, ask yourself this. How are they going bald now? If if why why isn't there just an epidemic on the TV talking about women going bald? You wanna know why? Because they're doing it to themselves with these hair care products. But you can't tell them anything, so hey, it is what it is. Don't go to a chick that calls herself a bad bitch. Cause nine chan nine ch nine chances out of ten, she's really telling the truth. She's nothing but a bitch. And she's doing terrible. Never like don't go to a chick that has multiple kids or multiple dudes. I told you this before. Now, she has like a one. She, if she's been married and had a couple kids. It's a case by case situation. And you got to decipher for yourself if you want to go through with that. You got to find out if you want to make yourself happy. If it's, if it's for you, go for it. But a, well, a lot of these chicks, I just don't want to deal with it no more. I just, I don't want to deal with the dumb shit. You know what I mean? It's just, I just want to live a nice, simple life. And then, like, uh, then what they don't understand is a lot of guys are going foreign. And a lot of these chicks are getting all salty. Go, why you got to go foreign? Why you got you can't handle? And they, they try to use, like, the dumbest psychology you ever hear. You can't handle a real sister? Uh, I, don't, I don't know how many real sisters have five kids to five dudes. I know real whores that do that, but I don't know real sisters that do that. Or they'll be trying to say some other uh, some other ghetto bullshit that you, I'm like, and that really, and that even turns me off more. It's like, man, eh, okay, whatever. But at the end of the day, young man, you have to satisfy yourself. You can't, you can't worry about what so-and-so says. And don't be afraid to speak your mind to none of these chicks. Because, cause, like, like I said in the, pre pre I'll say this now, I said this in previous videos. Men have never had a platform like this today, in today's age, to say something. Like I said, these chicks sold you out to the government. These chicks sold you out on national TV, going to all these talk shows saying how much of a deadbeat you were. And then when government stats come to find out that it's far from what they're saying and it's like they're lying, nobody, said, nobody can say something. And then, you want to know why? Because number one, they got all these goddamn simps that have no balls between their legs. They're trying to get them to fly to Boston and Seattle. They can realize they can fuck them. That's one of the biggest problems now. We got too many simps in the camp. And you need to you need to call out these simps. A chicken say something stupid. Yeah, you're right, sweetheart. Yeah, you're right, sweetheart. Hey, hey, can, you, can, you, can you call me? Can you, can, you show, can, you, can you show me a pic? Come on, fuck out of here. You know, but other than that, I'm going to make more videos. Why? You, this is the path where you should go. There's, there's nothing wrong with you doing you. Women well, we may have a problem with that, but hey, what they say, they're strong. They don't need a man. They don't need a man until they need a man. But after after all that is said and done, you have to ask yourself, do you want to go through bullshit for the rest of your life? Or do you want to have it nice and easy? Even if you, you got to look at it this way. You're on, you're on the clock till you're 65 years old. What you do between then and there is up to you. You can, you can have a rough or you can have it nice. Choose to have it nice. I had a rough for half of those years. 
The other half, I'm like, I'm doing me. So, all right, everybody. Have a good one. Peace.